Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to build a very simple application using PyQt6. All right, so this is going to be a tutorial uh, lesson number one. So here I designed a very simple interface using uh, the Qt Designer application. And let me launch the application. So this is basically everything we're going to create in uh, this video. So from this application, we'll have a, a Qline edit field. So basically that's the input field, a push button and a text field. And what this application will do is we're going to uh, input a value from the input field. So let's say I want to print my name, uh, J. And when I click on the push button, it's going to print a message, hello followed by my name, J. And that's it. And I'll show you how to use the uh, Qt designer on the next video. All right, so before we begin, uh, we need to install the library. So here, let me uh, launch my command prompt. So to install PyQt6, all we need to do is just need to uh, use the command pip install pyqt6 in your command prompt. And since I already have the uh, library installed, so I can just close the uh, command window. All right, so here, let me activate my environment. I'm going to select PyQt6. So I'll start by importing, here let me uh, increase the font size. So I'll start by importing the uh, system module. And let me save the Python script as demo.py. And here I want to take you to uh, PyQt6 modules documentation. So here's uh, the list of modules that we can use or we can import uh, in our application. But most of the times, depending on the application that you are creating, uh, the modules that you'll be using may be a little bit different. But in general, you will be using uh, the Qt widgets module. Inside this module, uh, these are all the widgets that you can import to your application. So here will have a uh, combo box, and here's the uh, checkbox, count the widget, a radio button, push button, and so on. It may take a little bit of time to actually uh, get used to uh, using every single widget. For now, let's uh, create the application. All right, so from PyQt6, the Qt widgets, I'm going to import the following class, Q application, Q widget, Q line editor. So this is basically the uh, input field, and QJ is basically the window. And I also want to import my push button. So the class name is Q push button, and the text box is going to be Q text edit widget. Because I want to insert my widgets in a vertical order, so I'm going to import uh, this class called Q feed box layout. So this stands for uh, vertical box layout. And because I want to uh, insert an icon to my application, so here let me take you to my uh, PowerShell folder. So here inside my folder, I have this uh, map star icon. And to embed an icon from PyQt6, the Qt GUI module, I'm going to import the Q icon class. And this are uh, everything I need to uh, import to create this application. So when you are creating a PyQt application, you must have a Q application instance. And let's go to Q applications uh, documentation. All right. So the Q application class manages the UI application control flow. And the list of jar is basically your arguments. And by default, if we're not going to provide any argument, we can insert empty list. And a lot of the time, you're going to see people use uh, system.argv. So this is when, when you are using a command prompt to uh, run the application. Sometimes you may want to provide your own uh, arguments. Actually, let's use uh, system.argument uh, statement. And to uh, execute the application, we'll use the uh, statement app.execute. 
Right now, if I run the script, it's not going to do anything because we haven't created uh, the application yet. So let's go ahead and create the application. I'm going to name this class my app. I'm going to insert key widget as the parent class. Now I'll go back to uh, line 13. And here I'm going to construct my app instance. And I'll name the instance as a uh, window. It goes to my app. Now this window instance is going to inherit all the uh, characters from this uh, my app class. And from QWG class, there's a mythical uh, show to display uh, the window. So here I can type window.show. If I run it, that's going to display the application window. So right now we have the shell. So basically a blank window, we can design uh, what widgets or controls we want to implement to the application. So first, let's give this application a title. So I'm going to use uh, the self.setWindow title method. And I'll name this application Hello App. And to embed an icon, I'll use the set window icon method. And from Q icon class, I'll insert the icon file path. And it's going to be maps.ico. And if you want to resize the window, so let's say I want to uh, set the window width to 300 and window heights to 200. So it's going to be a uh, width and height. Now if I launch the application and here uh, I have a blank window with an icon and the window title on the top. Let me make the window size a little bit bigger. So I'll change the uh, width value to 500 and for the heights, let's do 350. All right, so I'm going to create my uh, layout object to organize my widgets. So here's my QV box layout instance. And we also need to uh, set the layout so that way the uh, layout class will take effect. Now I want to insert all my widgets to uh, this layout object or basically my uh, container to hold all the widgets. So let's create the widgets first. This is going to be an uh, input field. And it's going to be a QLine edit object. And push button. And because I know I'm not going to uh, use this uh, button object in any other methods, so I'm going to remove uh, the self reference. And it's going to be output field. Actually, let me just name this as self output. And it's going to be a text box. So I'm going to assign a Q text edit class as the object. All right, so we have created all our widgets. So this is going to be our widgets. Now I can add all the widgets to my layout object. So to add the widget to the layout object, we'll use the add widget method. Inside the add widget method, we're going to insert uh, the widget names. So the first one is going to be self.input field. And it's going to be button. And it's going to be output. If I run the application, so here uh, is my input field my push button and my output text box. And here notice that my font is a little bit too small. So let's configure the fonts by applying a CSS style sheet. So from app uh, instance, we can use the set style sheet method to insert our own uh, CSS style. I want to uh, apply the font size to Let's do 25 pixel to all the uh, widget objects. And for the push button, I want to set the default font size to 
20 pixel. Now this time if I launch the application and if I insert uh, J, and the font size is going to be uh, much bigger. And here we haven't implemented any uh, functionalities to the push button. So let's do that right now. So first, uh, let's insert a, a label to our push button. For the caption, let's just say, uh, say hello. And I want to assign a shortcut to a uh, letter S. So I'm going to insert an ampersand symbol right next to a uh, letter S. Right, so we have the interface uh, created. Now we just need to create the function to print the name in the output field. So I'll create a method called say hello. And first we need to grab the name from the input field. So I'll call this as input text and from self.input field text. And it's going to return the uh, current text uh, that I type in the uh, input field. Then we want to print a message, hello followed by the person's name, when I click on the push button. So from output field, actually not output field, uh, from cell.output, I can use the set text method to insert the message that I want to display. Then I want to say that hello followed by uh, giving the input text value. And that's it. And to assign this uh, function to the push button, so there are two ways we can do it. One is to directly uh, link to the click signal. And here we'll assign the uh, function, say hello. The other approach is we can reference the signal manually. So from button.click.connect. And we can then assign the uh, function name or method name. So sub say hello. And either method will work just fine. I'll go with uh, the first one. And that's the script to build the entire application. All right, now let's give it a try. So if I launch the application, I'm going to type my name, J. And here I'm going to use the shortcut, out S, and I'll print the, uh, the message, hello, J. If I change the name from J to Google, and I'll click on the push button, and that's going to update the message to hello, Google. All right, so this is everything I want to show you in this video. For the next video, I'll show you how to use the Qt Designer to design your application.